Right, on with these straw papers. Um, so I've done a couple already, so I thought I'd show you this one. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso here. I'm hoping this brush is dry enough. Um, I'm not really dry brushing as such. I'm not really, you know, when you dry brush properly, it's supposed to take quite a bit of time doing it. Um, I'm not, so... I just want to add a little bit of gesso to it just to make it look a bit different. I'm doing a few other things. I'm going to scrunch it up. And... Okay. that um bit of vintage photo yeah gonna spritz a little bit Okay, this is a very fine mister, this worm. And now, uh, I'm just going to try that off first. Okay. okay. I'm going to do it once more. Quite dry, but it's fine. This is vintage photo. I can't remember if I said it or not. of this stamp like okay now I'm going to use a bit of peel paint it's one of my favourite greens right, just to A bit another color. So <laughs> I go mad. And then I'm just gonna just put a wild honey over. Just to keep it nice and warm. And I'm um, going to use this little daisy stamp. This is one of mine, so just as a bit of background, a bit of interest. Sure it's nice and dry. Not 100% dry, but it will be okay. Right, let's have a look. I think that's it. And now we can, we don't need to flatten it out, but okay, and then it goes in here.
It's in there. Okay, like that. Yeah, nice bit of texture there. I tell you what we must do. I must print it on um, a little bit of vellum to do some vellum pockets. Okay, so now I'm going to um, do this one. Thank you so much, Denise, for sending me these. Absolutely brilliant. I've got um, quite a few now and because I love these double ones. And that's great. So I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make a flip. Have I got anything in the back of this one? Yeah, I have. There's one here that I haven't got any. There, here we go. So I think I'm going to make a flip that way, I think. Yeah. So I've just folded it to where I think it will be all right. I like to do it a little bit shorter there. That's about right. Yeah. So I shall cut that off. Um, I will glue this down, but I'll make the, I'll make the actual pocket, um, should I make it at the top? I could make it at the top or the side. I might make it at the side, actually. Or, let's have a look. Um, no, that is the best way. I wouldn't at the top, I think. Oh, gosh, this looks like it wants a really good clean. Blue and paint. Yes, <laughs> Sometimes I'll stamp that and do something with it. So <laughs> if it's here, I'll get used for a mop up or something. Right, let's rearrange that. Sorry, there we go. So we get the same sort of thing going on. Okay, a bit better. See that? That's going to be the flip. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Lovely, all right, that's the back and that'll be the inside. Um, should we glue this down? Um, not sure. Unless I tuck something in. It's going to be hard, isn't it? To... I'm just wondering if I can come in a bit on that. I think I can. And then use it as a tuck. Rather than cut down here. It's going to be like that. 
nope I'm gonna do it the way I was gonna do it I'm gonna cut this bit off just a slither and I'm gonna stick this down now she most probably stitch around there anyway so I'm just putting a very fine bead In place. Oh, lovely. And I'm going to put this planer one on here. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to ink up the edges of this before we start so I don't forget. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go and stitch around that and then we'll go from there. Right, so that's stitched around. I just trimmed a literal slither off the end there. Okay, so now we've got a pocket and now we've got a flip. Yep. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of, I don't know, some drips or a bit of paint. Oh, I'm going to use a bit of speckled egg, I think. It's a little bit darker than speckled egg, but... I'd rather stay lighter. That's a nice tone. Um, what have I got? Have I got my fan brush? Oh gosh, it's pretty, pretty gross. <laughs> I'm not sure what colour was on there, so I better check. Let's see what we got coming out. They're actually going to have the oxide a little bit stronger for a minute. Just to 
load the brush up a bit. I can get some blue in. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just dab it in there and wipe that off. That's no problem. Yeah, that's lovely. There. Then I think I'm going to put a little bit of wild honey on. And don't forget, you can't dry it unless you block out the window. I'm going to put a bit of that colour on there. I'm not sure which side I might use of that, so I'm going to put a bit on both. Okay. And wasn't there a bit of paper as well here? Right, so that's that one. And while that's drying, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. I've got some little bits I had left over that paper that might just go there. And then maybe a word. And, do you know, I'm going to stick that down. And then, oh, sorry, I only lose this. Yeah, that tone is actually blended in nice there. Okay. Yeah. And we need to make a nice big journaling card. Oh, should we make it out of this? I'm not sure, actually. Yep. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's not gonna... I'm just wondering whether that. Might see him, but we'll see lines, won't you? Just might use some of that. Do want a bit sticking out, but not quite that much. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put that on, cut the book pages, and then I'm going to find something that I can going to see through that window. And I've also got ink up in here. Look, Let's just turn that down a bit. There we go. Book pages. Where did I put that book that I found? Here we are. Okay, this is what I do just so that I've got nice lines on the back and I'll put something decorative on the front because I want something to poke through that window. So I'm not sure what yet.
sure my battery's going to die soon because I left it running when I wasn't supposed to and I was doing some other something else and I went, oh no, <laughs> oh, wasted my battery. I'll trim that in a minute. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And I think I have that one there. The book page is just to reinforce it rather than using card today. I'm trying to use some of the book pages I've got, you know, that aren't nice enough to use as pages. Oh, I'm going to cut you off, sorry. A bit, yeah, I am. Never mind. That's the back, that's the front. So now we've got to make something that's going to go, and you're going to see in there. Okay. Interesting. Yes, it does. <laughs> so just lightly put a bit, bit of glue on there, not much. Okay, All right, now just trim that down. All right, I think I've got something. Okay, right, let's have a look. I thought to have this ticket on the side. I'm just going to ink that up a minute, and you'll see the back of that. That's good. I'm going to glue that down first.
Okay, right. I'm going to just stitch, do some stitching on that. Okay, this is going to go down here, which I can stitch on that after. And this is going to go sort of um, as well, like here. And then I'm going to have a bit sticking out the top there. Right, uh, this will go on the top. So that will be down first. So that leave that alone. Okay, I'm just going to stitch around here. I'm going to do sort of around there. Okay, and up there and, and down there that way. All right, just to get a bit more texture. Right, the hardest thing is gluing these on. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do the best I can. This is where a Xyron comes in handy for this sort of thing. I haven't got one. So one thing I, <laughs> I didn't buy years ago. <laughs> I think my sister had like one of the small ones, but so, oh, they I just thought it was the upkeep of them, you know, buying the sticker sheets, and it's I found it quite wasteful. But I'm sure there is this, you know, ways around that. But if you did have one, I'm sure you all know the hacks. Let's have a look. All right, so this one is going over, okay, over that, and then the rest is good, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I can now stick this down. Yep, and that looks good from that side as well, once that's stitched around. Yep, I can, I can commit. Right, let's have a look. Do we need all this? <clears throat> no, I don't think we do. I'll cut this with my Cricut, I think. Cricut cutting machine. I think there's dies. I think Tim Holtz has got one. I think I might have one actually smaller than this, but I think I used this on the cover of my last bee journal. I think. I think that's why I've done it because I thought I need some, but I wanted it bigger than what I already had with a die, I think. I think this could have done with just being a bit lower, but that's all right. There we go. Not going to get too fussed over that bit. <laughs> okay, now stitch all the way around the outside. Yeah, that's good. And that's going to stick out. So that's brilliant. And here we go. Okay, there we go. All done. Nice big journaling card. Hopefully it still fits. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, nice. And then see that through. It's, that's great. But I have a feeling, right, because I was going to put it on the back page, wasn't I? Not that one. Um, here. But... Right, once that sticks down, this can become a pocket anyway. 
um, and then you put a bit of paper over that okay to make the pocket if that goes there right oh, i think once this is full this is going to be hard to get out so i think it will be better if it's over like um this side of the page yeah so i'll leave that alone i just thought about that recently well, like here so that could be stuck in there yeah and we've got a flip there and then this will be a pocket yeah so i'm gonna stick that in Yeah, that's enough. So, you can see the gap? Just left that free there. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a flap. Oh, I've stuck it right down now, but I can go over that with a bit of this now and make a pocket there. Oh, actually, it doesn't look too bad. Sorry, I'm looking at the, the design. That might be all right, actually. So look, let's trim that off and see. If you don't like it? I'll just use another one of those. I think that's all right actually rather than print another one out might as well get used to using that up yeah so that's gonna sort of go in there and we've got a nice big pocket lovely okay well, i think that'll do for tonight um time to get tea <laughs> Okay, well thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.